I can't believe 4,063 clicks just broke the website. That's insane. So I love PyAuto GUI, but if you're looking for performance, it's not the library that you should be using. Now, let me explain. So PyAuto GUI is a great all-in-one wrapped bundle of tools that make you happy. But because it has so many tools, you have a lot of overhead. So if you're worried about performance, then you're definitely going to want to stick around for this video. So we're going to look at the clicking part of PyAuto GUI. I'll do more videos explaining other libraries that are faster for a specific task but this one's just for clicking. So we have our Pi Auto click, very simple. You move to the X and Y, and then you click. Our Pi input click, you create a mouse control, then you move to the X and Y, then you click. And for the mouse library, you move to the X and Y, and then you click. For our click counter, there's a little bit that's happening to make this work as smoothly as possible. We have our clicker. That's going to be the function that we're passing in, either the mouse, pi input, or pi auto GUI. We have our click count, the amount of times that we clicked. Our time counter. Now, I know I've said things about using time, but there is a correct way to use it. We're not using time.time .time because that's actually meant for time and not actually for performance. Keep that in mind. You don't want to use time.time .time if you're using anything to calculate speed. The 4 IN range for the CPS, the clicks per second, is the ideal click per second so how many times we want to click in a second here we call the clicker function that we're passing in then we increment it by one on this line we're just checking to see when it hits a second once it hits a one second then we're going to break out then just return the click count simple enough these x and y positions is just the top of the screen so that each function is moving to the same x and y and then we want to click about five thousand times after that we just print it out to the console so I know I just bashed Pi Auto GUI on performance, but which one do you think is going to come out on top? There's a good chance that I've been tricking you and Pi Auto GUI is actually going to be the one that comes out on top. So let's take a look here. <laughs> if you actually thought Pi Auto GUI would come out on top, I got you. Now, I don't want to leave you thinking that Pi Auto GUI just clicks that extremely slow. It does not. That was just default settings. You can try to optimize. So for this optimization, I'm going to try Pi input with pressing and releasing for both the mouse and Pi input. We're going to call these fast click, but we're also going to change a couple of things for Pi Auto GUI to get some real speed from it. You have to remove what they call their, I guess, fail safe by changing dot pause to zero. But also we're going to go ahead and actually not call the controller in each call since we're going for optimization for our Pi input. Now, Take another guess. Which one do you think is going to be the fastest? Is it going to be Pi Auto GUI? Am I going to get you again? There's not a major difference from the Pi input and the mouse, but if you notice that Pi Auto GUI is getting some speeds. If we run it again, you can still see that Pi Auto GUI is keeping up. You can get some real speeds from Pi Auto GUI if you disable their pause and intervals that they have there. But at that point, would you still want to just use Pi Auto GUI if your application only needed clicks? You would probably want to go with Pi Input. Unless you're trying to target certain devices and Pi Input's not available. Same for the mouse. I could be checking in a way that's not getting Pi Input's full performance. Same for the mouse as well. But I can tell you, I can guarantee you, Pi Auto GUI is being checked correctly. I built my whole entire application around Pi Auto GUI. And then I spent the last two months completely removing Pi Auto GUI and trying to add something like Pi input instead. So keep that in mind before you start any projects. So let's do some tests. Okay, so let's first check click counter online. The mouse position tracker is something that I built, but I wasn't planning on making a video. If you want me to make a video, let me know. But it just keeps track of the position of your mouse relative to the monitor that you're on or absolute from your main monitor all the way to your last monitor. In this case, it goes negative for me because I have three monitors, one to the left and then one to the right. All right, so now that we got the position that we want, let's go ahead and run at least 100 clicks in one second. That was 100 clicks per second using Pi input. Let's do a thousand. Okay, so it did register. It kind of, it was starting to waver a little bit on us, but we got a thousand clicks per second. I wonder if it can handle 5,000. We're going to just bump that up. I think 4,063 clicks per second just broke the website because my page is now, it, it's done. It, there's not, nothing's working. I can't click on anything. I can still scroll. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it like two minutes to see if it loads. Okay. So let's leave this in the background and we'll try one that I, I think is more reliable. Let me grab the positioning for this one. So same test, a hundred clicks per second first. Easy. Let's do 1000 X and no problem. We're going to try to hit that 4,000 mark again. And the moment of truth, can this website handle 4,000 and some clicks? Huh. <laughs> 
this site actually did handle it pretty well. 4,009 is what I got on my terminal here. So if you were wondering, clickspeedtest.com can handle 4,000 clicks per second. Let's do one more just to make sure. 3,757 is what I have on my terminal. So it is handling the clicks per second correctly. We are not able to break 3,757. And with that being said, if you guys have anything you want to add, you saw anything that I did wrong or you could do better, leave it in the comment section below because we are building a community and we're all growing together.